this has taken place just outside the airport on a on main road. And uh, as you say, it looks like this was a, a minibus that was targeted, uh, filled with uh, foreign nationals. We don't know what nationality uh, these, these victims were, but we certainly could see their bodies uh, strewn out on the ground. Uh, there were lots of uh, police down on the scene, both Afghans as well as as uh, coalition troops obviously going through the wreckage. Now, there is a, a group, an insurgency group, that has claimed responsibility for this attack, and they say that it was a 22-year-old woman. Her name was uh, Fatima from Kabul, who was the uh, suicide attacker. It looks like she was driving this vehicle, which came into contact with the convoy, and that's when the bomb exploded. They claim that uh, the car was packed with some 300 kilograms of explosives. It happened at 6.45 this morning, Rosemary. This is before uh, Russia. As I said, it happened on the perimeter of the airport on an extremely main road. And the, the blast from this bomb, from where the, the blast took place, from where the, the engine block landed, was some like 100 metres uh, down the road. And there was a great deal of damage, certainly uh, on buildings within like a, a kilometre, really. Uh, the, 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 the bomb blast, the, the wave of the, the blast, and the shattered windows some kilometres away. So it certainly had a devastating effect, Rosemary. Yeah, clearly. And Anna, what are authorities saying, if anything, about any possible link uh, to this anti-Muslim film that, of course, has enraged people across the Muslim world? Well, the coalition forces aren't saying anything at this stage. Uh, there has been no comment from them as, as yet. But uh, certainly this particular insurgency group says that this attack was in retaliation for that inflammatory anti-Islamic film that was produced in the United States. So that is that is coming from after, uh, obviously, protests here in Kabul yesterday. There were some 300 people who took to the streets uh, trying to get to the U.S. Embassy, and they clashed with police officers, injuring 15 police officers and, and burning police cars. But uh, obviously, this is a, a completely different uh, level. This is a, a suicide bomber who's targeting foreigners, targeting this, this convoy of uh, foreigners. And uh, at this stage, it looks like nine people have been killed, one person seriously injured.